Hello, my name is Hen Wilkinson and I'm the Director of Community Resolve. I've been involved with Community Resolve since it started out in Bristol in the southwest of England in 2002. And at that time what we wanted to look at is how different cultural groups manage conflicts both within their own lives and also between each other in urban settings. And we were also looking at the problems with youth conflicts uh, on the streets and also with their own families etc. Since that time we've gone on to deliver a big range of innovative work thinking about community in general, the idea of community and turning it really into a project that wanted to promote good communication at every level as well as building skills in different people uh, to manage their own conflicts on a daily basis. Hi, I'm Amanda Radix and I've been working for Community Resolve for 10 years. I was drawn to this work because of trying to understand my own attitudes to conflict and of the attitudes of others. What I love about my job is seeing the transformation in people when they see their own ability to move through their own conflicts. It's freeing. Hello, my name's uh, Sue Ming Hart. I've been involved with Community Resolve more or less since its beginning when we were knocking on doors and finding out uh, more about how local people saw conflict in their communities. I, I came to um, this kind of work really from my background as a lawyer. And what I found was that, contrary to popular opinion, law was really quite violent. And I, I found I needed to, I was looking for something else, some, some way of dealing with conflict, which was, uh, seemed to me a little bit more uh, real and actually dealt with people's needs. So that's, that's where I came in. I first trained as a mediator when I was living in Mid Wales in the 1990s. And after that, when I moved to Bristol, I realised that there was a really interesting way of expanding the mediation principles to apply it in a much broader way across the community. What's been interesting to me is that this work has been a way of combining lots of different strands that I've got involved in, from working as a journalist and a book editor to living in lots of different sorts of communities, both overseas and in the UK bringing it all together in this project and being able to work alongside such an incredibly wide range of diverse people has been fantastic for me and it's felt like home and family ever since we started out some 12 years ago. I trained as a community mediator uh, while I was still practicing law and that that was my that was my way into this this type of work and then uh, meeting uh, Hen and getting involved in community resolve uh, broadened broadened that immensely. I got involved in this work originally because of my own interest in managing conflicts in my own personal life and seeing them playing out in people around me. And in fact, over the years since we set up the project, I've discovered that lots of people get involved for exactly those same sorts of reasons, making sense of what they can see around them and wanting some more skills and ways to think of conflict in a positive way. I really like the idea of viewing conflict as an opportunity for change. I just love it. I love meeting all the different sorts of people, uh, getting bounced up against different ideas and getting my ideas and my assumptions challenged day by day by day. So fab. <laughs>